little bit warm. Hello, we're here at Ribble Head. That's, you know, over there. <laughs> um, and we're here to catch the Leonard the Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Look what she said. Um, hello, we are at Ribble Head. Ribble Head, like over there ish. We're actually some stream right now. I'm, I'm bet that goes on for ages. And I looked down it and you could see where how far it went. But anyway, we're here to see a lo locomotive steam engine train. Um, it is the Le Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. and that was a few takes um, <laughs> we saw, we've, we're here to see that we saw it this morning in Bedford now we're going up again and we're in Ribblehead now and we should get loads of footage of it all around Ribblehead um, and then we're going to go somewhere else later on to film it <laughs> um, so I hope some of you enjoyed this video and then hopefully later on we'll be going somewhere else we first caught the locomotive early in the morning at half past eight going to pick up its carriages We then went up to Ribble Head and we saw a really cute dog on the way up there and I would quite happily took it home.
you just looks like and literally when she was coming out just like my hair like getting a bit fatter and faster like i could feel it i was like i don't know how we to explain it but i just felt really really weird when she was coming because i could hear it i heard it from everybody else because there was a few people behind me and i heard it i could sense she was coming and because i decided to put a camera behind me this time i got that already and i knew she was coming she was already in my position i was just so excited when she was coming i saw her coming she was just what a beautiful beautiful she was what a beautiful locomotive oh my god i mean i absolutely loved it <laughs> oh she just came over the side ah! a sheep just came really near me um filming dogs. Yes. Did you manage to get the steam train? No, I got the dog bird. <laughs> <laughs> he did get the steam train, didn't he? I for a vehicle and the dog stopped because of the weight for the vehicle. I just saw it. I thought, oh, that's a huge dog. <laughs> yeah, have managed to get to the steam train though, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> we then saw loads of men dressed in orange and we wondered whether they were minions and point one hundred. So we went and had a chat. I can't help notice that you are dressed in orange. What are you doing? We work for Network Rail and uh, there's a large project to refurbish the Bleemore signal box. Who is that? And uh, yes, this summer and it'll all be refurbished. So we're here for that particular project. And will it affect the railway in any way? Will there be any closures? Or... No, not at all. No, so Excuse it's, me, it's okay, sorry, coming. don't get run over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not at all, but it's, it's overdue. It's a little bit dilapidated now. So they'd be uh, brought back to its original heritage. Well, that's what I was just going to ask. Will it be original? Yes. Uh, oh, brilliant. Oh, that's great news to hear. Thank you very much for talking to us. We wondered what you were all doing when we saw loads of you in our intro. Thank uh, you. Good luck. Have a good day. And we'll come up and have a look at it when it's done. Yes, in about the next three months. We'll yeah, uh, we'll keep coming up and have a look before that as well. She's yes. always um, filming us. We just filmed the Sierra Leone coming past the steam engine. Yes. So we'll come up and have a nosy. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank See you guys. later. Bye. Then off to Carver. <laughs> Chasing that little, 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 little round 
something like that. Sierra Leone. Yep. Um, I wonder if we're day chasing her around, saw loads of other trains as well, not just her, but saw loads of other ones. Like, it's lovely seeing her because I saw her like, saw her actually three times today. This video's probably got like the most trades that I've ever seen on, probably, you know, sort of thing. But I've also got something else that happened today. When I was coming here to Carnforth to see um, her last time today, I saw a man who was reading this little booklet, which I'm in, which has this advertised inside of it. So I went up to him and I said, I'm performing it, um, it because it's a Fringe Festival. So he's reading the Fringe Festival catalogue. I said, I'm performing it. So I gave him a little business card. And I just thought I'd show you these leaflets, which I designed myself, which I must say I'm really proud of. I designed them myself. Um, and I'm going to be performing from all the greats, from Freddie Mercury to Elvis, to Charlie Chaplin, to F F Bob Foster, every single person. And um, there is also a theme that they are all actually dead. Um, and, and, you know, um, there's a reason why those two aren't dead. But you have to come and watch that to find that out, actually. I shouldn't really be telling you all this because you have to come down and watch this with me performing all these things because it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful night. It'll be the best £5 you've ever spent. Trust me. It'll be an absolutely wonderful night. So, and I'm actually going to give you a little taste. I've decided. come and watch it please 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 do not just have to actually it's a please a little bit so please do come and watch it it's uh, going to be Morecambe at the moment I'm advertising for but it's also going to be in Carnforth and um, Barrow so those will be on a bit more of a later day but I've, I've started advertising Morecambe because to be honest with you I haven't thought past Morecambe yet and my mind is on Morecambe at the moment so I will be performing them as well but please one night only in Morecambe please make sure you come and watch thank you for watching this video uh, bye